Hi everyone, Mike Carey here with Northwest Fishing Reports. Welcome to Lake Cachas. We're at elevation of approximately 2,200 feet and we're going to be fishing this lake today for the first time. I'm with my son James and his girlfriend Jenna. So sit back, enjoy the scenery, and let's go get some fish. The boat launch is located on the north end of the lake. It's a beautiful concrete ramp. Um, and end of August, it's still uh, covered with water, which is kind of surprising because Clee Ellen would be really drawn down at this point. So we have a beautiful calm day out here. As I said, we're going to be targeting Kokanee. So I think we'll start here on the north end of the lake and then uh, see what's shaken. And if no luck, we'll head down towards the dam. We're going to be running standard kokanee gear today. We've got dodgers, little hoochies, little attractants on them, and of course, can't forget the corn. I like to put two pieces of corn on my inside hook, so it looks like that. I leave the trailing hook free with nothing. We'll run this back about 20 feet on the bottom line. We'll drop the steep one down to about 50 feet. Maybe we'll go uh, 35 to start since it's early. For our stacking rod, we're going to use a double D dodger set so that it sends the dodger out to the side of the boat. And then I've got a little spinner set up underneath here. Did you see that? Yeah, a little fishy jump. Fish on at 60 feet. Our first fish of the day. We'll work on that netting later. So, never know what you're going to find when you're fishing a new lake. That's not a bad fish. Jenna did a great job catching it. <laughs> This guy measures in just at 12 inches. One thing of note, you can see he's a little on the skinny side. Not surprising, high elevation lake. They don't feed quite as well. But beautiful fish though. We are down and top. Lake's got some kokanee in it. 12 inch class, that's better than I expected. We just hooked into a big fish. This is not a kokanee. Now, this lake has rainbows, cutthroats, it also has bull trout, which are protected, have to be released. So we'll see what we got here, but there's a lot of weight on this fish. It's a good fish. Wow. I don't know what this is, but it's a nice fish. Here we go. Come up, James. Oh, that looks like a bull trout. So we're going to handle this guy really gently. Yeah, that's a bull trout. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. 
So these fish look a lot like lake trout if you're not uh, familiar with them. But there are no lake trout in, cle in catches, it's all bull trout. So I've got a knotless net. We're going to handle this guy gently, as quick as possible, get him back in the water. There he goes. Oh, Safe and sound. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool fish. Welcome aboard, fish. There you go. There you go. <laughs> In the boat. <laughs> Another nice uh, 11, 12 inch kokanee. <laughs> Is that a little guy? Place them. Yep, bring them on board. In past videos, I've shown you a kokanee stacking technique using a shower curtain uh, clip, and I want to show you one of the things that you can do using this technique that allows you to keep your line in the water just a little bit longer. And what that technique is, is that if your bottom line gets bit and you catch a fish, you don't have to disconnect the stacker line at all. When you bring the downrigger weight up, reel in the stacker line at the same time, and that shower clip will come along to the top of the surface of the water and you can just leave your line clipped in and it's all ready to go. So now you're going to clip in your deep rod again, bring it back down, and of course you'll loosen the drag on your stacker line and that clip, shower clip with the weight will go back down to where you want it to be. So you don't have to disconnect and release the stacker clip. Our morning bite died off down there by the boat launch, so we've run down lake about three miles or so. We're now at the end of the lake where the dam is, so we'll give that a try. I'm already seeing fish on the fish finder. Whether they'll bite or not is another matter. Well, that didn't take too long. Changed location, and look at that. That's that's a nice uh, size lengthwise. Again, they're skinny out here on this lake. But uh, within minutes of gear down, fish on.
There you go. Oh! What oh, happened? <laughs> oh, no. That one got away, huh? Yeah. Here's a morning's catch from Lake Cachis. First thing in the morning, we fished off of the uh, boat launch just down there in that little area. And then we had a lull in the action, so we went down to the dam and finished our day there. It's pretty good fishing. We got 15 fish. Um, they're running 10 to 12 inches, so they're not huge, but I'm sure they're going to taste just fine. Uh, we also got that nice bull trout. If you're looking for a lake to go kokanee fishing that you haven't tried before, um, I hope this will encourage you to come on down here and check it out. It's really pretty scenery, very secluded, and uh, not a lot of boats. We saw one boat the whole day. So um, anyways, uh, good fishing for us, and I hope it'll be for you too. So we'll see you on the water and online.